Oh, hi. Fred Zorn from Fred Zorn Dog Training here with the Hound How To. The Hound How To. Today, we're going to be doing a very simple build. This build basically is going to help us to create a tool that is going to be very useful, especially for people who have rambunctious dogs, puppies, and like to run through your house, can't seem to get a hold of them. Even when you want to put a leash on them and take them out for a walk, they seem to get it so excited they take off into the next room. What we're going to be making today is a tool that's going to help us to create some boundaries for our dogs so that they can't just go scooting off. Today what we're going to make is called a drag leash. Now a drag leash can be lots of things. You can build one of these for indoors, you can build one of these for outdoors. You can build them different lengths. One of the reasons I like making these is because you don't have to put a whole lot of work into making them, first of all. And second of all, when you do invest in making them, they don't cost a lot of money. If you buy a drag leash and you spend a lot of money on it and then your dog <laughs> chews on it, you're gonna be very upset. But if your dog chews on this drag leash, you, you know you can always make another one and it's not gonna cost you a lot of cash. All you need are a couple of very simple ingredients. Clothesline. I think this is like quarter inch cotton clothesline. I like to use the cotton, not so crazy about the plastic. And you need a bolt snap. That's pretty much the hardware. Now, sometimes people will get a little more into it and it may sew up the ends with a needle. So you may need a needle and thread if you're gonna go that far, but it's absolutely not necessary. Just take the end of your clothesline and pass it through your bolt snap and you're going to tie a knot there. Simple little pretzel knot, yeah. And then one more coming back the other way in a square knot. And that's pretty much it. I told you it was gonna be simple. I told you it was gonna be quick. You can take a needle if you'd like to and you can pass this through this knot in order to keep this knot really secure. If you wanna go cheap and easy, you could also just take some electrical tape and wrap it around this to keep this from fraying out too much or becoming annoying for your dog. And then you're gonna measure three lengths that are the length of the area between the dog's collar and where their tail attaches, and that's where you're gonna cut it, right there. Now, for some dogs that are particularly fast, you may need to make your leash a little bit longer because they're gonna be that much quicker when they're trying to get away from you. Now, the other problem can often be that a dog will chew on their drag leash. And this is a common problem that will happen even with a regular leash. It doesn't even need to be a drag leash that the dog wears all the time. So sometimes what I'll recommend to clients is that you can soak it in some bitter apple. And they say, oh, well, Fred, my dog just loves bitter apple. It eats bitter apple in its cereal for breakfast in the morning. And for some dogs, that's absolutely the case. I, I found that Labradors and Golden Retrievers in particular seem to have a real good time of chewing on things that have bitter apple on them. So sometimes some chew inhibitors won't work as well. Instead of putting bitter apple on your drag leash, use a little bit of Listerine, and it should be the alcohol type of Listerine. Now this is not something I'm not recommending you use Listerine to clean your dog's mouth out. That would be ridiculous, and it's also not veterinary approved. This would be basically to keep your dog from chewing on the rope and ingesting any of this stuff. This way, instead of whenever you're picking up the drag leash and you get bitter apple on your hands, which will stick around for weeks, I, I am not kidding, weeks, on your hand and you can't wash it off. Listerine is on your hands and that's not as big a deal for a person. But for dogs, uh, they don't really like the taste of Listerine and so this will actually inhibit them from wanting to chew on their drag leash. It also kind of gives them a minty scent as they run around your abode. So it is a good alternative to using bitter apple in general. So that's it. When you found the right length for your drag leash, you just cut off the end, stay consistent, make sure that your dog understands that it's really important that they listen to you in scenarios like that. That way you can start increasing the engagement. And when, when you do basically set a boundary for a situation and you put your foot down on that drag leash so that they can't go any further, make sure that you're encouraging them also to come back into you too. So as soon as they start coming to you, you can give them all the praise in the world. If you have a treat, you could give them that too. You don't have to always give a treat. You could also just give them praise and lovings as soon as they get in close. Remember to use some positive reinforcement when you're setting boundaries and your boundaries become that much more respected as a result. I'm Fred Zorn from Fred Zorn Dog Training. This has been the Hound How To. 
talking about drag leashes. I thank you very much for listening and watching. And if you like what you've been seeing on this show, please put a like down below and subscribe. Maybe share it with your friends and family on Facebook. Let them know about the Hound How To if you know a particularly crafty person or if you know a particular person that may be getting a new dog or has had a dog and likes to make stuff for their dogs, please let them know about the Hound How To. I'd really appreciate all the subscriptions I can get. So please remember, it's always a beautiful day to take your dog for a walk, no matter what the weather is. Right now, I'm in the midst of working on a pretty complex project that I hope is going to be very exciting when I show it to you guys. But for right now, I want you to not think about a pink elephant.